in this video, I will show you how to create uh, cash flow, uh, profit and loss uh, balance sheet tables uh, from QuickBooks Online Connector. The native QuickBooks Online Connector to Power BI sucks, doesn't it? Um, I tried to use it to build financial statements for some of my clients, but it was so hard. It has like a hundred plus tables uh, inside of it and uh, finding the data you need is like finding a needle in a haystack. So um, I had a really hard time recreating uh, profit and loss balance sheet cash flow from this connector. So in this video, I will show you how to create uh, cash flow, uh, profit and loss uh, balance sheet tables uh, from QuickBooks Online Connector. Uh, I will show you the dashboards that I was able to make. Um, and uh, I will explain how you can create those dashboards yourself. Uh, one other limitations of uh, the native connector is you cannot combine data from multiple accounts um, together. You can only connect to one account at a time. Well, I will show you how to work around this limitation as well. In this video, we will actually not be using the native QuickBooks Online connector because it's uh, you know, it's just so complex uh, and uh, it, it will take ages to find the data. Uh, instead, we will be using the connector by Vidicorp. Um, so uh, once this connector is set up, uh, you will essentially get the uh, data inside of your SQL server. And uh, all you need to do is uh, to input the details from SQL server and this would give you the uh, data from your QuickBooks. So I'm just going to do it now. I have inputted the server name and the database name and the data connectivity is imported. So I will click OK. And I have previously signed in to this uh, version of uh, um, Azure SQL so it does not require authentication again. But uh, you know, right now uh, I can see all the tables. So let me load the profit and loss table just to show you how it works. The data has finished loading, so we can now uh, explore it. The easiest way to understand the data format that you get is uh, uh, to go inside of QuickBooks and uh, in there uh, go to reports and search for profit and loss detail. Uh, you will get exactly the same um, Exact, exactly the same data format as you have uh, in that report in QuickBooks. Um, you will essentially get your uh, transaction uh, description. Uh, your transaction description uh, would be given a name. So a name is client name uh, for your revenue, for example. And then this uh, transaction is grouped uh, uh, into uh, level one, which is uh, basically income or expenses. Uh, income and expenses are broken down further into your level two. So this is the custom naming convention that you set up yourself inside of your QuickBooks. And uh, level three is just one level down. So um, yeah, essentially all of your transactions are grouped to the same categories as in your uh, profit and loss. So uh, you also get the client ID column. Uh, this will be the name of your QuickBooks account. So if you have multiple accounts, uh, you will see multiple values in this column. In addition to that, uh, you will get your accounting method column here. So uh, you can filter it to cash or accrual and uh, make sure you always select one uh, and uh, um, you also get the amount for every transaction you get the uh, dates for these transactions 
So you can now use this to uh, create your profit and loss reports, which you know we can try to do together. So um, I'm going to create a table and uh, all I'm going to do right now is to do uh, level one value, two and three. So this is already my profit and loss. Uh, obviously, uh, like the sorting is not there, but the whole hierarchy uh, is available just like that. I'm just going to add amount and uh, yeah right now uh, this looks pretty close to my profit and loss uh, if I group it like this I can now expand and collapse my categories uh, and this kind of mimics the profit and loss uh, inside of my um, inside of my QuickBooks now uh, if I want to filter this, so I can go uh, and search for date value. I'm going to pull it on the canvas and uh, just change it to dates. Um, and if I want to see transactions for, uh, you know, just one particular date, uh, I can do that. Um, I was now able to uh, set the data type to date and if I only want to see the transactions for this period I can also uh, just filter it here. Now make sure that you always apply the filter for accrual or cash otherwise you will see duplicates in your data. We don't want to show the same transactions on both cash and accrual basis. So that's, uh, that's basically uh, just one tip for you. Um, and uh, uh, yeah, now that you have those breakdowns and those amounts, you can start creating uh, all the different dashboards uh, from this data. Um, I'm just sharing the dashboard that I was able to create from this profit and loss table. Um, so. Essentially, as you can see, um, I've uh, uh, created some measures for my income, which is uh, just some of profit and loss amount value, where level one value is income. Um, same for my net income. Uh, I, I have uh, measures that uh, essentially calculate uh, the sum of cross profits minus all the expenses so that's my uh, net operating income and uh, I'm visualizing it in uh, all of those charts uh, I can go down uh, pretty granular I can go down to transaction level so in theory I could show the, the list of transactions in this table but for many clients it's too much uh, everything is also interactive so if you click on uh, income for that particular group, you can see the uh, um, breakdown one level further in here. Uh, now I've created uh, a separate table to show net income and net other income uh, all together uh, in uh, a PNL type of table. I've also shown uh, the percentage breakdown for uh, every category in this income table, uh, this income category. So I can see that uh, this particular group is 14% of my income. Um, now, uh, the same thing pretty much happens for balance sheet and cash flow. So I have my balance sheet and cash flow here. So I'm visualizing the assets and liabilities in one chart. I'm visualizing the equity. Uh, I am also uh, showing the cash flow in a table. Uh, again, I have a cash flow table which is available here. Uh, and uh, I'm visualizing cash flow um, on this tab. So if you're interested in finding out more about um, the data format, 
inside of uh, this connector and the balance sheets, the cash flow tables, then just leave a comment under this video and uh, uh, we'll be sure to reply to it and uh, to give you more information about the balance sheet and cash flow table structure. Um, you can also read more about it uh, on a web page uh, that I will link below. So uh, if you're interested in finding out more about this connector and the data formats, then just go through this link and uh, have a browse yourself. Um, so yeah, I hope this video was helpful and uh, please subscribe to stay up to date.